today's topic is nucleophilic substitution reaction let us take an example of alkyl halide alkyl halide react with nucleophile to give this product breaking of cx bond and making of c nucleophile bond takes place in nucleophilic substitution reaction this is nucleophile x negative is also nucleophile but one nucleophile is substituted by other that is called nucleophilic substitution reaction it is of two types sn1 and sn2 now let's talk about sn1 and sn2 reactions aapko sn1 or sn2 reaction se related jitne bhi confusions hain wo aaj dur ho jayenge after watching this video so first what is sn1 sn1 as the name suggest one for unimolecular and for nucleophilic and s for substitution it means unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction it means in a rate determining step only one molecule is involved unimolecular means single molecule is involved in nucleophilic substitution in the rate determining step in the slow step you know slow step is rate determining step sn2 sn2 means bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction in sn1 let us take an example we have this molecule x is a leaving group r1 r2 r3 are different groups this carbon is attached to four different atoms or groups so this is chiral carbon now in first step x is removed there is a breaking of cx bond when cx bond breaks it leads to the formation of carbocation carbon with three sigma bonds and one unhybridized p orbital now this carbocation is planar now this planar carbocation is attacked by the nucleophile nucleophile from either side front side or back side because both the locations are available for nucleophile so if it attack from front then it leads to the formation of this molecule and if it attack from back side these are the two molecules formed but see if we place a mirror in between these two molecules they are just mirror images of each other these two molecules ye dono molecule jo hai they are mirror images of each other but dono ke iske upar agar rakhe isko so it cannot superimpose that means these are non superimposable mirror images and non superimposable mirror images are known as yes 
they are known as anisomers. In this case, nucleophile is at the same place as X. So this is called retention of configuration. Configuration is retained. So this is retention of configuration. But in this case, nucleophile at the opposite side. Nucleophile is at the opposite side. So it is called inversion of configuration. So in this case, in SN1, both retention of configuration as well as inversion of configuration takes place. Right? Now come to second part, SN2. In SN2, same groups. Now nucleophile attack at the same time when X is attached here. See, in this case it is X partial negative, carbon is partial positive. So nucleophile attack from back side because X is already attached here. If nucleophile attack from the same side, <clears throat> there is a repulsion. It leads to the formation of pentavalent <coughs> transition state. This is transition state. Now, pentavalent transition state then decompose to give this molecule. Now see the difference. In first case, new first x here again charge are same x negative, partial negative, partial positive, and this is the slow step in which CX bond breaking takes place. It acquire complete positive charge. X acquire complete negative. <clears throat> then nucleophile has open option. It can attack from either side. This may nucleophile dono side se attack kar sakta tha. Or is ne kiya to we get two products. In first case there is retention of configuration in second case there is inversion of configuration but in this case only inversion of configuration takes place kyun hua sa kyunki x jo hai cx bond break hua baad mein nucleophile ne attack kiya pehle isme jo hai ye wala step jo hai अब एक और क्वेश्चन आता है कि इसमें क्या लग रहा है दो स्टेप्स इसमें भी दो स्टेप्स बट नाउ कीप इन माइंड दिस इज रिएक्शन इंटरमीडिएट व्हाट इज दिस रिएक्शन इंटरमीडिएट कार्बोकटाइन इज रिएक्शन इंटरमीडिएट एंड दिस इज ट्रांजिशन स्टेट Reaction intermediate can be isolated, can be isolated, can be detected in the reaction, but transition state cannot be isolated or we can say cannot be detected. This is an imaginary structure. Kya soch rahe hum? Ki X is going away from carbon, nucleophile is coming towards carbon. So this is an imaginary situation. So transition state is not counted as a step. Going from attack of nucleophile on the carbon to making of bond. Means slow step is this. Making of carbon nucleophile bond. Here slow step is breaking of CX bond. And this breaking of CX bond is a slow step. So rate 
is equal to k nucleophile is not available here in the slow step so it is it follows first order kinetics in this case the rate is equal to k so this reaction is first order with respect to substrate as well as nucleophiles follows second order kinetics so sn1 is two step reaction and sn2 is one step reaction one step reaction two step reaction this is not counted as a step this is just an imaginary situation third difference what about nucleophile nucleophile first wait for the formation of complete positive then it will attack nucleophile wait kar raha hai pehle ki pura complete positive aa jaye is carbon pe then it will attack that means kaun sa nucleophile favor karega weak nucleophile favors this reaction and here abhi x lagai hai और न्यूक्लियोफाइल ने अटैक कर दिया दैट मीन्स कौन सा न्यूक्लियोफाइल फेवर करेगा स्ट्रॉन्ग न्यूक्लियोफाइल फेवर दिस रिएक्शन नो इन द रेट डिटर्मिनिंग स्टेप हेयर न्यूक्लियोफाइल इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व दैट एम्प्लाइज लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियोफाइल फेवर दिस रिएक्शन हेयर high concentration of nucleophile favors this reaction now see in this case there is partial positive partial negative and it become complete positive complete negative that means less polar it goes from less polar to more polar so polar protic solvents favor this reaction because polar protic solvent interact with cation and anion energy is released and that energy is utilized to break other bonds means they are highly solvated this cation and anion are highly solvated and this solvation or in case of water we say it as hydration leads to the breaking of next bond means it provide energy to break this bond in this case though solvent is polar but polar aprotic solvents favor this reaction. but what is the difference between polar protic and aprotic protic means which can give h plus ion like water water can give h plus ion so this is polar protic solvent but in this case this carbocation is formed so stability of carbocation plays the major role stability of carbocation more stable carbocation more stable carbocation easily formed readily formed and rate of reaction increases that means more stable carbocation so that means electronic factor decides reactivity electronic factor decides reactivity that means reactivity of substrate is proportional to stability of carbo cation x is halogen so in alkyl halide reactivity of alkyl halide is in the order of which carbocation is most stable primary secondary or tertiary tertiary so tertiary alkyl halide is most reactive and then secondary then 
primary and then methyl halides. This is the order of activity. Now come to SN2. Breaking of CX bond does not take place. That means nucleophil attack from backside. As it attacks from backside, if these groups are bulkier, attack is difficult to take place. And this effect of size is known as steric effect. So steric effect decides reactivity. So you know steric hindrance is minimum in methyl reactivity of alkyl halide is just opposite. Methyl halides then primary, secondary and tertiary. Now in both the cases bond CX bond breaks. So in alkyl halide Iodide is more reactive than bromide, than chloride, than fluoride. This order is same in both the cases. If we draw potential energy level diagram, first breaking of CX bond leads to the formation of carbocation, and then first ca case. Activation energy is high because reaction is slow. Second reaction is obviously fast. This is X R1 R2 R3. Then this is carbocation. And this is your product. So in product, there is retention of configuration as well as inversion of configuration and these are two <coughs> these are two transition states so in SN1 there are two transition states and one reaction intermediate but in SN2 the graph is like this that is that is nucleophile and R1, R2, R3, there is only one transition state, pentavalent transition state, and then product. In product, there is only inversion of configuration. There is only inversion of configuration. In SN1, there is a retention of configuration as well as inversion of configuration. That means an isomers are formed. That means in this case, Resmiation takes place. When both the enantiomers are formed, retention or inversion means D and L. But in this case, only one is formed. That is, in this case, only inversion of configuration takes place. Only inversion of configuration 